Our current energy system is leading us toward dangerous risks of climate change, like sea level rise and extreme weather events. Our current policies are nowhere near the long-term targets that we need to hit. A carbon tax is one way to bring down emissions quickly while lowering the cost of moving to a low carbon economy. Here's how it works. Carbon dioxide is a byproduct of day-to-day -day activities. Without a carbon tax, we can emit as much carbon dioxide as we like into the atmosphere for free without any consideration of the harm caused by these emissions. A carbon tax changes that by charging a price for every ton of carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere. For example, a power plant that generates electricity to homes and businesses would now pay that price for its carbon dioxide emissions. Now that it is charged for emissions, the power company has an incentive to find ways to reduce its emissions and invest in zero carbon technologies to avoid future carbon taxes. Consumers have an incentive to reduce their electricity use to avoid paying the tax, which is incorporated into their electricity prices. The revenue collected from the carbon tax goes into a pool that can be used for other purposes, like reducing other taxes, investing in clean energy, and simply sending checks to Americans. The result? Emissions go down and new low carbon technologies and products are born. Designed right, a carbon tax can help us avoid dangerous impacts of climate change at a much lower cost compared to alternative policy options. But designing a smart carbon tax requires policymakers to make important decisions, such as setting the carbon tax rates at the right level to ensure emissions reductions and minimal effect on energy consumers and on the economy. Choosing which activities that produce emissions to tax and which not to tax. Choosing how to allocate the revenue in a way that benefits the economy and the environment and is fair to all Americans. Deciding which policies are well suited to exist alongside a carbon tax and which are not. The Columbia University Center on Global Energy Policy and its partners analyzed a carbon tax policy that would start at $50 per ton of carbon dioxide emissions and increases by 2% annually. Here's what we found. Emissions fall by about 40% below 2005 levels and 25% below where the US is currently on track for in 2030. $180 billion in revenue is generated per year that can be used to reduce payroll taxes by two to three percentage points, to increase government investments in clean energy transition, or to send every American a check for $1,000 each year, which would be more than enough to compensate average low and middle class households from increased energy prices. The impacts on the overall US economy of the carbon tax should be small, particularly when the revenues the government collects are used productively. A $50 per ton scenario would have a dramatic impact on the climate, but little impact on economic growth. A well-designed carbon tax can help us avoid climate risks and minimize the costs of transitioning to a low-carbon economy. To learn more about carbon taxes, visit Columbia's Center on Global Energy Policy online.